Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. Welcome back to Microbiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to discuss a fairly simple test called the DNAs test. Before we get into what DNAs are, remember that DNA itself is the genetic material in practically every single cell. There are some organisms like viruses that do use RNA, but pretty much everything else is going to use DNA. And DNases are enzymes that break down DNA. So let's first get an understanding of what DNases do. So when we look at this DNA strand, it's going to have units. Each unit is composed of three things. A phosphate right here, a five-membered ring, which is deoxyribose, and then a base, which is not shown. That base is either A, T, C, or G, which is adenine, thymine, cytosine, or guanine. Now, as you can see here, from what we can see at least, this DNA strand is four units long. Okay, there's, of course, lots of others not shown here. They're humongous molecules, but there's four shown, and that's our DNA strand. And N right here is just referring to the number of units. We'll just say four here. Then we throw in the DNA, the enzyme. This is the enzyme that breaks down DNA. What it actually does is it takes this terminal unit and just chops it off. So notice here we go from four units to three. This one was chopped off, and so now we have n minus one units. So if this was four, now we have four minus one, or three. But it doesn't just do that once, it can do that many, many, many times. So here we have this DNA acting again on a DNA segment with three. It chops one of them off, and now we have two left, or n minus two. And so the DNA enzyme can do this over and over and over again, and it can very quickly take a large, humongous DNA molecule and break it down into its individual components, which are just these nucleotides right here. So hopefully that makes sense. So now that we understand a little bit of what DNases are, let's talk about the DNAs agar. This is the agar that we run the test on. DNAs agar contains both DNA and methyl green. DNA is really just the potential substrate if the bacteria express DNAs. And then the methyl green is an indicator. Uh, it'll tell us where the DNA is. Okay. Now when you put the DNA and the methyl green together, they come together and they form a complex. So this DNA methyl green complex, as the name suggests, turns green. And methyl green is only going to be green when it's complexed with that DNA. Okay, and so wherever you see green on the agar, that's indicative that DNA is also there. Now let's think about what will happen in the case of a negative DNA versus positive DNA bacteria. So if it's negative for DNA, meaning it doesn't have the enzyme, will that bacteria be able to break down DNA? The answer is no, it doesn't have the enzyme needed. And so for a DNA negative bacteria, the DNA will still be on the plate or on the, on the agar plate, and the methyl green will still be complexed with it. So pretty much you can expect for a DNA negative bacteria, you're just going to see green. None of it will be gotten rid of because the bacteria can't get rid of the DNA. It's DNA negative. But if we have a DNA positive organism, an enzyme that does express DNA, well, of course, that bacteria will be able to break down the DNA, okay? Now, here's the thing. What does DNA break down to in the presence of the DNAs? Remember, it's free nucleotides, right? And the key is that the free nucleotides do not complex with methyl green. And so anywhere where you have free nucleotides instead of DNA, it will not appear green. Now, in the end, you have to do one more step. You have to wash this with hydrochloric acid. This is one normal hydrochloric acid. Normality or normal, this is actually a different unit to measure concentration. We're not going to worry about that right now. It's similar to molarity, but it is different. Uh, but that hydrochloric acid is going to wash away those free nucleotides. Okay? Um, it works like that because Nucleotides are going to be soluble in that hydrochloric acid, so they'll be easily washed away. But because DNA is insoluble in it, the DNA will stay there, so it doesn't hurt the DNA. In the end, if you have a DNA negative organism, it was not able to break down the DNA, and so the DNA is still going to be there, 
it will just appear green everywhere around the streak. So if you see something like this on the left, there's no clearing of the green. It's still green all around that streak. That is a DNA negative organism. Why is it negative? Because it doesn't have DNA. It can't break down the DNA. And so all that DNA that's in the plate is still complex to the methyl green. And so it remains green around the streak. Over here on the right, we have a DNA positive organism. What would you expect if it had DNA and therefore was able to break down the DNA? Well, there's going to be a zone of clearing or a halo. And if you look around this streak right here, you can see it, what I have as white. This is a halo region around the streak. Why is it a halo? Why is it clear? Well, it's clear because the DNA was broken down. Because the DNA was broken down into free nucleotides, and the nucleotides don't complex with methyl green. So anywhere where you've lost that DNA, you're not going to have the green color, and so therefore you'll see this halo around it. Okay, Here's another look at what you have. This is a real-life uh, DNA agar. So over here on the left, this is still DNA negative. Again, it's hard to even see where the streak was. It was probably right there. But there's no clearing around that, no halo. Um, this is clearly a negative species on the left. Over here on the right side, this is clearly a DNA positive organism because around that streak in gray, I can see this zone of clearing or this halo where you don't have that green color. Why is it not green? Again, DNA has been broken down by the DNases and the nucleotides that are produced don't complex with the methyl green, therefore the green color is lost. So if you see a halo or zone of clearing, whatever you want to call it, that is a DNA positive organism. Hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of how the DNA test works and interpreting the results. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.